Hello, hello. I'm going to try and speak like a grown-up. I can't get my words out today. I've come along to do a flip through of my new planner journals and this particular video is for the soft cover journals. I'll be doing a second one for the book cover planner journals. Now, I'm hoping these are going to be in my shop at five o'clock Greenwich Mean Time today, these particular journals. There's six of them. I will put confirmation in the description box if that changes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the elements that are involved in this particular journal and then the other five I'm going to kind of put to music and speed up a bit because there's a lot of repetition. They are different but they are very similar. So this one is journal planner journal A. They all have a tassel with a bead dangle. Okay, three of them have closures and that's A, B and C, the ones that I'm going to show you first. Obviously, this is on a Tim Holtz Bulldog clip and a Tim Holtz book ring, so it can be removed and the charm is actually removable as well. Obviously, you can just undo the ring and slide that off, but this particular one has got a lobster claw. Okay, so um, we have a collage tag in the pocket. Um I've undone this journal so many times trying to do this video. This, like I said, have I done this already? This one has a closure. You may or may not already know that. Uh, I'm not sure. We've got a bead dangle here. Okay, uh, it's been a while since I've done a flip through. We've got two tags or a tag and a journaling card in the pocket. And like I said, this is journal A. They have their letter on the rings. So this particular journal has a year planner and then there are 12 months like so. There's two little journaling cards here and then there is a, another little divider here and this section are, is the weekly. So there are some weekly planner pages and then there are a couple of note pages in this one. There is another divider here with a little bead. And this is a vintage bead on a dangle. Collage tag, and these ones are onto tea stain card and a piece of ephemera that I've aged, and this comes from the Graphics Fairy. Okay, so we have our tea stain papers. This particular planner does not have tabs. Some of them do, and you'll see as I flip through. I've tried to cover up the writing areas. There is a little bead dangle on this paper clip and inside the brown envelopes, there are some tags, a playing card, some stickers, faux tea card in there, another sticker and a couple of little tags. So they can be used in the planner. Then they all have a book page with some trim. Uh, the kit that I've used in this one is the entomology notebook, entomologist notebook. These particular tags are, again, they're quite, they're on some tea stain cardstock and it's a little collage with book page. So we've got more plain pages. They all have a pocket with a tag. Again, book page, I haven't covered that up because it's quite nice. They all have one of these envelopes that I've just stitched around, added a stamp, and then there's a piece of writing paper inside. Another kit page. Another divider page. And in here, there is a tag and another piece of ephemera. A uh, page from a shorthand book with a little tab sewn to that. Another decorated page. Uh, these particular tags are decorated both sides and they're all similar but different. They have one of these faux flashcard pages. Another kit page. Uh, this pocket, large pocket page with a large journaling card in there. 
a little collage on that side quick page um, again decorated the page this one I've put a little label on with the definition of tree sorry about the sun I don't want to block it out we don't get enough of it uh, another book page no nope, journal page no kit page there we go um, these are little playing cards and I've added a little faux tea card there and a little tiny tag in the pocket little charm on here large tag another book page in this particular envelope I've it's a vellum envelope and I've just done a little stamp and stitched that to my flap so there are a couple of vintage stamps in here there's the front of a vintage matchbox two tea cards they're original um, a little photo from a holiday snapbook and some little pieces of ephemera and a little book page so they're all to be used where you wish in the planner oh now i've got to get it back in these pages fit in these envelopes perfectly there we go And obviously, all oh, the tea cards vary, the stamps vary, uh, etc. They're not all the same. So we have another kit page, more tea stain page, another decorated book page. Um, they all have, I think they all have one of these. It's um, just such a pretty envelope. I wanted to use them. So I've added a little stamp and added a little side piece to hold that in. That's a page from an old Reckoner. Another kit page. Um, then there's the large pocket at the back and a refillable notebook which slides into that pocket. Okay, so that is the first journal. This is journal A. So what I'm going to do is I will now speed it up and show you the rest. So this is journal B.
so that's the journals um i hope you can see okay obviously i'm going to put photos in the listings but you do only get 10 um so i will do my best to show you exactly what's in these um i will be doing like i said the book cover journals separately but um i hope you like them they were so much fun to make they really really were and um obviously they're perfect for the new year and christmas presents but um i am going to be sending the digital kit along with the journals so if you do purchase one you'll be able to print new pages if you need to but they will also fit the a5 file of facts pages so thanks again for watching and i will see you really soon bye